Is your Arduino board slow or is it fast? Just like cars, there's a huge performance difference between different microcontroller processors. So is your Arduino board like a 1990s minivan or do you have more of like a hot rod? Well, in this video, I'm going to explain exactly how you can find out using this international benchmark called the core mark. Now, by the end of this video, you're going to know what this core mark is where to get the code to run it on your Arduino board, and then how to actually execute the code and get that benchmark for your board. So you can see, hey, you know, what am I driving here? Okay, let's go. So what is CoreMark? Well, it is a benchmark value developed by an international organization of engineering performance standardization geeks called the EEMBC. It's a single number that's supposed to help you compare the performance of one microcontroller to another. So when you get the CoreMark for your Arduino board, you can compare it to other board's processors. Now to get this benchmark score for your Arduino, you just load some code on it and it runs anywhere from like five to 30 ish seconds and then it spits out the core mark score onto the serial monitor window. The higher the number, the better. Now the code itself is basically putting your Arduino board through a version of American Gladiator. It does a bunch of intensive processor stuff like matrix multiplication, linked list management, state machine execution, coffee machine running. Let's just say this isn't sweating to the oldies. It's more like P90X or something. So now that you know what core mark is, how do you get this code so you can run it on your Arduino board? Well, the code I recommend is made by a guy named Paul Stofigan. He ported all of the CoreMark code to the Arduino IDE. Now it's up on GitHub. I'll put the link in the description, but here's how you're gonna use it for the Arduino IDE. So here I'm on the Git GitHub page that Paul has up, the repo for this, and I click that green code button, opens up this dropdown, and I go to download zip. Okay, so your browser should download a zip, and now what you're gonna do is save it to your Arduino sketchbook folder. So the Arduino folder is usually in My Documents, so you know, if you go to My Documents, you should see a folder named Arduino, and I would recommend just saving it right in here. Okay, so I'm gonna click Save, and once you've saved it, now you wanna open up that Arduino sketchbook folder. So here I am in my Arduino folder, and here is that zip file. So I, now you need to unzip the zip file on a Mac. All you do is double click it on a PC, you right click and uh, you should have that option. Okay, once you've extracted the file, you can move the zip file to the trash. And now what you're gonna wanna do is rename this to just simply core mark. Core mark, just like that, hit enter. Okay, now when you open up this folder, you're gonna see a bunch of C files in here, a header file, and then you should see a coremark.eno file. Once, what you need to do is double click this and it should open up the Arduino IDE for you with all the core mark code in it. Let's see if this works. Okay, so it worked for me. It opened up all this core mark code. You'll see at the top, there's a bunch of different tabs. You don't really need to worry about these. These are just those other files that we saw in there. All right, you essentially have the core mark code. So now you gotta run it on your specific Arduino board. And it's as simple as uploading this code to your board. If you've been using Arduino for a while, this is pretty straightforward. You just go up to this drop down right here and you select your board and port. And if you don't see it, you can go to select other board and port, and then you just type in the name of your Arduino board here, and then you select the port that you think it is here. That's pretty much it. Then you just click upload. Now this code is gonna upload onto your Arduino board. In this case, I have an Arduino Dway Duo. I think it's Dway uploaded. Anyway, so now this code is uploading to my Arduino board. Once it does that, then go ahead and open up the serial monitor. So you just go to tools, serial monitor, opens up a window down here and they'll let you know, hey, we're running the core mark uh, performance benchmark should take like 12 to 20 seconds. I, either I count slow, I would think it always takes a little longer than that. But once this is done, it spits out these numbers right here. But the one, you know, you can look at these, but the most important one is at the bottom where it says core mark one and then it says the score. So for the board I have connected, it's a 94.95. So hey, that's how you get the core mark score. So you can do this exact same thing on your Arduino board. And then you can do it on other Arduino boards you have and figure out, hey, which one's, you know, which one's the fastest? 
Now, maybe you're curious how you know your board stacks up with other Arduino boards. I've got this chart that I put together. It's got uh, it's actually kind of a bundle. It's an Arduino buying guide. It has a bunch of stuff about you know what, some specs to think about when you're buying an Arduino board, but it also has this big chart. And one of the items on the chart is the core mark score for a bunch of the di these different boards. So you, if you're welcome to uh, download that if you want it, you can go to the link in the description or check out this QR code. Uh, somewhere on the screen in here, you can download it there too. Okay, so one big troubleshooting thing, here's a little bonus for you, because um, man, I got stuck on this with scratching my head for a while. If you upload this code to your board and it uploads fine, you don't get any errors, but then your board, once it starts running the code, it's doing funky things like it's constantly resetting or it's just sitting there and not spitting out a code, then it's very likely that your processor um, does not have enough working memory to actually run the test, to run the performance test. Now, just because an Arduino board can't run this CoreMark perform performance benchmark doesn't mean it's not a good board. In fact, the Arduino Uno R3 can't pass it, but uh, I love that board. I use it for tons of different projects because the question isn't, is the CoreMark score good enough for this board? The question is, how much speed do I need in the processor for, you know, whatever application I'm using? If you've just got an LCD screen or an OLED and you're, you know, some push buttons, maybe rotary encoder, you know, that like you can do all types of stuff with an Arduino Uno R3. You don't need some high performance thing. But if you're getting into some, you know, some type of like video or audio kind of, you know, data transmission stuff, you're trying to do something like that, then you're going to want a board that has more performance. So that's the real question. Now, if you'd like to see how some Arduino boards stack up against each other, you can watch this video right here. I go through and run the CoreMark score on over 20 different boards. You can see which one comes in first place. It's right here.